John Oaks here with Hangster's Hot Rods coming to you from our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. We are located about 70 miles from our closest major airport being in Pittsburgh. That's the Pittsburgh International Airport. Uh, for those of you that need to come out and take a look at this car or any other car that we have in our inventory, you may do so um, coming into that airport. We have several smaller ones, but that's the closest major. Um, today, uh, we're going to be going over this. This is a beautiful new addition to our inventory. Tahoe Turquoise 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback. Now this thing is just beautiful. We got it in a few days ago. Really didn't meet, need much of anything. Just a little bit of cleanup. That was it. This car here you can see it's got the chrome bumpers front and rear. We've got all the, uh, the paint on this, this Tahoe Turquoise. Nice, smooth, and shiny the whole way around. All the body panels as we walk around this today, you're going to see how nice everything is lined up and how the elevations and gaps are so nice on this car. We've got 289 emblems on the fenders here along with the GT badging as well. Of course, on the bottom here you see it's got that white stripe along the lower body there of the car too. Now again, you were able to kind of quickly see our gaps here on our door here. The elevations are great. And again, all the body lines line up really good on this car. For wheels and tires, we've got 14 inch. These are the factory chrome steel wheels that you would find on this car. And we've got a set of BF Goodrich Radial TA tires, 20570 R14s the whole way around. Now our car, we've got the mirror up here on the driver's side door. All of our glass here is in great condition. As you can see, there's no cracks, there's no scratches, no chips whatsoever. All of our bright work on this car too as we walk around is very nice. Good and straight, shined up, polished up really nice too. We'll open up the door, take a quick look on the inside. You can see we've got all black interior. This is factory interior for this car. Bucket seats up front. They do have the comfort weave upholstery on the seats. We've got the factory center console, the wood grain steering wheel, all factory instrumentation in this car. That interior is just as nice as the rest of this car. No fading in the carpet, no rips or tears in the seats or headliner. Looks great. Even has a fold down rear seat in it too. Now you can see with our fastback, you've got the vents back here along the sail panel. Those are functional. You've got the lever inside. You can open those up if you need some airflow in there. Again, the quarter panels, again, in excellent condition. As we come back to the rear of the car, you've got this big rear glass across here. Again, that's in nice condition too. No scratches, no chips, no cracks. And the bright work, the trim all the way around looks in really good shape. Our trunk lid, again, fits really good back here. Again, paint all the way around on this car looks great. You've got the GT gas cap back here too. Nicely polished up chrome rear bumper. Now you'll notice your rear lower balance. You do have those chrome exhaust tips that stick out through there and that is the correct look for this car. The lenses on your tail lights, as a matter of fact, the whole way around the car are in excellent shape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the trunk for us. That way we can take a quick peek and uh, hopefully I picked the right key here and I did. So we got that open. So obviously the trunk lock works itself. The hinges for the trunk as well as the springs for them all functioning as they should holds that trunk lid up nice. You can see the paint is all finished off on the inside too. Nice trunk mat, spare tire back here also and a set of floor mats here. Now, we always elect to leave those out for photo and video purposes just to show the condition of the carpeting inside, but they are back here if you wish. Again, trunk seals and weather stripping are all in great shape, and you've got your uh, original decal back here. Uh, so again, everything on the trunk is really, really nice. We close it up, shuts nice and easy. We walk our rest of the way around the car now. Again, quarter panels on both sides, great. As a matter of fact, as you look down the sides on this car, super straight the whole way down. Glass on the passenger side, again, you can take a look at that. No chips, scratches, cracks whatsoever. Bright work the whole way around. Drip rail moldings, those are all in great shape. We'll open our door up. Again, just so you can get an idea of the in interior on this side here. Again, all seat belts present also. So you're going to be good and safe in this car also. Let's close this up. 
Now we can look at our gaps now on the back side and the front side of our door. Again, very uniform uh, front to back. And again, our elevations are dead on as you look back the side of this car. Everything lines up. We've already been through the emblems everywhere. We'll bring ourselves back around to the front where we see our nicely polished chrome front bumper. Of course, you've got the GT front grille here with the fog lights up here. And those are on a switch on the interior of the car. And again, you can see how nice this hood fits, both your gaps and your elevations. That's your factory stock steel hood on that car. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up now. And we'll take a look under the hood now. Underside of the hood, all finished up. Same Tahoe, Tahoe turquoise as the rest of the exterior of the car. Of course, you can see the engine compartment all blacked out here. Again, really nice looking vehicle here. As far as the engine goes, um, this is a non-original motor. It is a 68 302 Windsor small block. Um, you can see they put some nice aluminum add-ons here. So again, this Mustang air cleaner, that's made out of aluminum. Again, your aluminum fin, aluminum valve covers are also stamped with the Mustang powered by Ford on those. Breather, PCV valve on those. Nice aluminum intake on top also. We've got a single feed Holly carburetor on there with electric choke, so that's going to get you running pretty good there. As far as your uh, ignition system, you, they did remain kind of with a stock style distributor here and a stock style coil mounted right down here. They did upgrade though, it looks like they went to a set of Autolite Professional Series 7mm plug wires, uh, but again this motor runs really really good here for this car stock style radiator here complete with let me just check it out six blade aluminum flex fan in there so that's going to help keep you cool and that does have the fan shroud on it power brake car power steering car uh, and as far as the exhaust we've got the stock uh, cast exhaust manifolds which dump into a set of real dual exhaust dual mufflers dual tailpipes with exhaust tips on it. That's your motor. Now as far as the rest of the drive line, this motor is coupled to a C4 automatic transmission and then that is coupled to an 8 inch Ford rear end, 280 gear, limited slip differential. That is your drivetrain. So all in all this car is just an awesome car. It is very very nice as far as the paint, the finish, bodywork and as far as the interior it's your complete overall package in my opinion so we're going to go ahead and close up our hood okay so we've got our 66 uh, ford mustang fastback here on the lift so we can go through everything as we always do starting up here at the front so as far as our front suspension goes we've got the stock front suspension strut rod fronts here all the bushings those are all in great shape your control arms again just your stock stuff up front here so those are all great shape ball joints on everything your your control arms your tie rods everything those are all in great shape and all the little rubber dust boot covers are all intact now our car does also have the front sway bar on it sway bar bushings for the frame and for the end links are all in great shape as well as far as uh, the rest of the steering we do have traditional power steering up here for the mustang uh, and all of that looks to be in great shape your boot everything looks nice and dry nice and clean underneath here uh, as far as wheels and tires we've got all 14 inch factory chrome steel wheels on this car with 205 70 r14 bf goodrich radial ta tires on both front and rear and as far as braking components we've got disc brakes up front drum brakes in the rear and they are power brakes also now let's take a minute just to talk about our floors on this car as you can tell from probably the video and all the photos that you're able to see of this car this thing looks immaculate underneath here and it is it really is all of your little uh, you know like your uh, drain plugs and so forth those are all intact these floors everything has been replaced on this car so it's all brand new floor firewall everything and done correct so it looks great underneath this car as far as the rest of our drive line goes we've got our 302 motor up here this is a non-original motor 68 uh, 302 windsor small block 
coupled up to a uh, C4 automatic transmission. We've got a balanced drive shaft here. And then of course we've got our eight inch four rear end here. A 280 gear is what this called out for. Uh, and this is a limited slip differential. Uh, as far as rear suspension, multi-leaf rear suspension, looks to have newer shocks on the back end of it here as well. Uh, looks to be a either a new or fairly new fuel tank on it also. It looks great, painted up black to match everything else up underneath here. The frame sections on this car, great shape also. You can see right here on the front frame sections, nice and square, nice and straight, no dents or dings anywhere. Even the rear sections of the frame here that you can see, those are nice and straight and no dings or anything on those either. So everything that way looks great too. And um, as far as brake lines, fuel lines, those are all rotted nice and neatly up along the floors here. Uh, emergency brake all intact from the start all the way back to the finish here at your drum brakes. Uh, and then I'm uh, just trying to think of other things that we can point out that. I mean, everything is just so nice and clean underneath here. Uh, again, with all new floors, you're not going to really uh, this is a nice car. You're going to love this thing and it's going to last you forever. Exhaust, just stock cast exhaust manifolds, dual exhaust, crossover pipe, dual mufflers, dual tailpipes, and then of course it's got the chrome exhaust tips that exit out through that rear lower balance on the back of the car. That's really it. Um, we can now get this down off the lift.